Papa Scooter Maven. He travels the world in search of adventure and new scooters to ride. Each week we check in with the Scooter Maven. He's been from Tokyo to Moscow and back. World leaders want to meet him, celebrities want to be him, but all he cares about are scooters. Fame, money, fortune, these are not the things a Scooter Maven cares about. He loves scooters. So here we are at the Biltmore Estates. We're going to go outside and take another spin on those Kimco scooters. Well, I've mentioned it before and I will mention it again. My two favorite scooters from Rotas Day were the Like 50 and the Like 200. Why they I like these scooters so much? Well, they show so much potential. The US market is a retro-based market, and if you look at this bike in slow motion, you can see that it is a Lambretta Vespa styled hybrid. The front looks like any classic uh, retro-looking scooter these days uh, with a plastic body, but when you turn to the side, if you notice near the, foot, the floorboard and the sides, it's a bit like an old Lambretta, and I really like that. The front, obviously the front top end under the headlight, has that Vespa styling um, that you see in the new GT models and the LX, and I really like the sides. The sides tell me Lambretta, so it's like a child of the future with the plastic scooters that we, we see out there. But um, very nice. I like the color matching floorboards and the seats. The accessories are all Cobra two-stroke, uh, people two-stroke accessories, and this is a sweet, sweet scooter. So if you can get your hands on one and you can test drive it, this is definitely the scooter to have for 2010. The 200cc is a four-stroke engine. Much like the, uh, much like the People 200, except it's not fuel injected, but it, it is a really really nice bike as well. And we're gonna do some testing of these bikes and some other models that Kinko is releasing. So Well, here we are at the uh, Biltmore Estates in Asheville, North Carolina, and we're driving an exciting 500, and uh, it's amazing. It's a beautiful day out here. Thank you, Kimco, for bringing us out here, and uh, we're going to explore North Carolina, go up to the mountains today with all the press corps, and we're going to check out the new 2009, sorry, 2010, 2011 models that are getting their first test drives in the U.S. here. Stay tuned. I'll show you some more scenes and I'll tell you my thoughts on the news. Uh, behind me is America's largest home, the Biltmore Estates. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the Biltmore Estates. And then we're going to take a nice little scenic tour around the uh, eight acres that surround, or is it, around, or is it 8,000? 8,000 acres that surround this, uh, this palace uh, in America's heartland. Great things about being the scooter maven is that you get to see all sorts of cool places around the world. and. Uh, we're about to explore America's largest home. I, uh, I can't imagine what it's like to clean the bathroom on Sundays here, or what it was like, but um, let's take a look. Some amazing gardens and landscapes that sometimes are only accessible by going on foot. So some places you can't go on the scooter, but the scooter will take you to some unbelievable locations. Let's take a look at the lake behind the main mansion. There's a lot of koi fish and fish in this pond. Actually you can see some of the giant catfish right there in the water. They're huge. Huge little fish. Absolutely. So the scooter maven once again finds himself in a nice mountainous region traveling on scooter at 
4,000 feet above sea level here in the North Carolina mountains. With, uh, with our friends at Kemp Richmond, we're testing the uh, 200cc like right now. And um, it's nice, not bad. It's a little, it's got baby blue on it. It's got a uh, sufficient knee room right there. It's the only thing I find that uh, that's got a 200cc engine and it's uh, not bad. I like one little feature here. I really think the uh, like 200cc is probably going to be the best selling scooter of 2010, 2011. It's got uh, amazing response, great engine. Uh, if you like the uh, Yeager 200, then you're definitely going to like the like. Uh, the colors are retro, which is exactly what Americans want. The accessories are going to be there, and they're definitely working with a lot of companies like MRP and developing the upgrades. So I have a, I have big hopes for the like 200, and stay tuned. Well, this has been a ama an amazing ride all over the Biltmore State. We've seen animals and sheep and wild turkeys, including the little sheep. 